Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, excuse me. Sorry, I dropped my paper on the floor. But anyway, today in this video, I'm going to talk about my top five thing, I mean top ten things you should never do when you're working in a restaurant. So I thought this would be a great video to make because I was watching Lindsay Phillips' story about how this waitress was so rude to her and her boyfriend, boyfriend and how the waitress treated them very badly. And I'll leave a link to her story in the description box down below. And hopefully this video will help you guys about etiquette for working in a restaurant. And um, for those who don't know, I used to work in a restaurant. I was a dishwasher as well as a busser as her and I was in the restaurant business for four years so I did learn some stuff while working in the restaurant about working in the food biz business and what to do and what not to do so I'm going to get started so number one in my list would have to be stand over customers so this is one thing you never want to do I actually made this mistake when I was volunteering and serving food to seniors I never made this mistake at work but I did this quite a lot when um, I mean not quite a lot but um, by accident one time when I was um, at a um, senior center serving food, food for a volunteer um, thing. And I definitely learned that that was not appropriate to do because customers do not like when you stand over them. It's so uncomfortable. I especially don't feel comfortable when people stand over me, me and watch what I'm doing. It makes me feel uncomfortable sometimes. Number two on my list would have to be clean around customers. So cleaning around customers is never good to do because um, you're bothering the customers. They're not getting a chance to enjoy their food. I definitely learned this was not okay to do like on the first day of my job, but that was okay because it was just an accident and I didn't know and it was my first time at this job. And when I was working at my job, I accidentally dusted around a bunch of customers and my coworker told, and the person who was working with me said, be careful not to dust around the customers. And I said, okay, thank you. And I was glad he told me that because it taught me to be careful when you're working around customers. So that's one thing you should never do is like, you should let the customers enjoy their food. I mean, it's okay to do a little chit chat with the customers if they talk to you for a second, which is really nice, but you never want to clean around customers. It's not okay. Cause they'll feel super uncomfortable. Number three on my list would have to be drop menus on the table. So it's always polite to place menus on the table. So if you're going to walk over and just drop them, it's probably going to make a loud sound that might disturb the customers because sometimes um, when you have, um, I know a lot of the um, menus and the restaurants have like the plastic thing around them and they're in like a slip cover thingy, thingy. And if you just drop them on the table, it's gonna be quite loud. It's very rude to just drop on the table because it shows that you probably don't care about the customers and it's super rude. Number five on my list had to be drop people's food on them. So you never want to drop people's food. That is really rude to do because you're going to, if you just drop the food on the table, you're going to splash the customer with his or her food. It's rude and it's not okay to do. Do just gently place the food on the table because if you just drop the food on the table, it's going to like get all over the customer and some, and a lot of customers don't like it when their food is actually on them and not on the plate. Number six on my list had to be rush people to people to eat their order their food. So you never want to rush people to order their food because some people don't always know what they want if they haven't even looked at the menu yet. Yeah, it just really bothers people when you're rushing them. And I understand you're working hard at your job, but you never want to rush the customers to order their food because people do not feel comfortable when they're rushed or people do not like to be pressured when they're rushed to order their food. It's just rude, it's disrespectful, and it's not okay. Number seven on my list has to be ask customers if they're done with their food yet. So you never wanna ask people, go, are you done yet? Are you done yet? Because customers find that super rude and disrespectful because they feel like you're rushing them. And it's always a, if you see like an empty plate, the best, the most professional way to do it is like, ma'am or sir, would you like me to take that for you? And if they go, oh no, I'm still working on it. I'm like, oh, sorry, I didn't realize that. I usually would do that, like politely go, oh, would you like me to take that for you? I never would ask people if they're done yet. I accidentally did that at a volunteer site one time, but I definitely learned my lesson 
that it is not okay to ask customers if they're done yet because they feel being rushed. So the more professional way to just do it is just always ask, would you like me to take that for you? And if they're still working on it, then just walk away. And then another thing you can ask another customer, if you see they're not touching their food, you can ask them, would you like me to take that for you? It's just more professional. Number eight on my list would have to be fight with customers. So you never want to fight with customers because it's not very, very mature. It's not very appropriate to fight with customers because it, even though the customer is rude to you, you don't want to be rude to them back. Back because it makes the work exper the experience for the customer to have their food it makes it super bad and you never want to give people's first experience so bad. I really, it just is really disrespectful. It's not very comfortable to the customers and it just makes the customer just never want to come back. Number nine on my list would have to be grumpy at work. So you never want to be grumpy when you're working at a restaurant. You should always bring your a good attitude. Dude, I mean, I know I have moments where I can be kind of like irritated and stuff, but I would never bring my irritated mood to my job job I always would just scrub dishes and I felt like I was a lot calmer and everything and I hate bringing a bad attitude to work because it just makes my other co-workers just grumpy too and you never want to be around somebody who's grumpy so if you're working and stuff and you're getting a little irritated just hold it in as much as you can and try your best to be positive and stay positive at work number 10 on my list would have to be laugh at customers so this is so rude you never want to laugh at customers when you're working in a restaurant especially if they're doing something ignore the barking please that is mr pickles he is barking downstairs there so i apologize if it's kind of annoying I, there's nothing i can do about it Anyway, um, so you never want to laugh at customers because it's really disrespectful. It's not okay. It's so rude. And it makes just the customer just completely uncomfortable. Comfortable. And you never want to just laugh at customers. It's just some customers feel insulted. Some customers don't feel comfortable, feel like they're being treated properly. It is never okay to laugh at customers. I mean, it's okay if some customers may kind of like joke around with you you and if the customer is joking back it's totally fine but you just never want to joke when customers aren't in a joking mood mood or laugh at them because it makes them so uncomfortable and it just makes them feel like they're not being treated nicely okay so those are my top 10 things you should never do when working in a restaurant i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you learned some restaurant advocacy and thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already i post every day except for tuesday and friday afternoon sometimes and i'm sorry about mr pickles barking and i'll see you in another video soon bye